Oof. Oof, oof, oof. We like this. I think Akali is on the cusp. On the cusp. The reason I say so, it's like it's on the cusp. This is a good early game change, right? Her early game is very weak. This this might just be... Guys, let's keep going to Worlds. This is... Guys, they need to be at Worlds to, call, to play at this. This is a big help for early. This is a big change for early game. This is 13-15. LEC is on 13-15. This energy change is massive. I, I, th I think Akali was already on the cusp because there was many drafts and I was like, whoa, this is a Akali game. I think, I think this is a big buff, considering the state of Akali currently. Brand passive, mana restoration, magic, AP scaling up, AP scaling up. Contrary to popular belief, Brand has not been on fire in solo queue. It's like, this is some low elo shit, bro. There's some lizards playing Brand mid. Attacks per headshot, wow, 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 wow. Wow, wow, wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is big. This is big. This is very big. It's three out attacks from bushes. That's very big. This is massive. Very big buff. Very big buff. The biggest nerfs to Kate though has been uh, is the fact that the uh, range supports are nerfed. But this this is interesting. Very interesting. Isn't it interesting how every time that there's a world championship, Akali, Silas, Caitlyn, Aatrox. These are the four champions that always, always come back. All right. Q damage. Wow. Wow. 10 damage. Wow. 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 This I don't care too much about. This I don't care too much about. Because it's, it's very rare that anyone breaks through my shield. Like, this is a massive buff. 40% slow, guys. 40% on rank 1. Damn. This song is the best thing that came out of Overwatch 2. Fuck that game. This is really big, by the way. This is really, really big. But I don't know where you would pick Echo. That's that's my issue. I don't know where I would pick Echo. But right now, it's AD mid meta and Echo doesn't thrive in that. Karma. Magic damage, 50% AP scaling. 70% AP scaling. Mantra. One second, three. Okay. I think these changes are minimal. Minimal. I don't think this changes anything. Light sling. Bones magic damage on hit. 15. I keep in mind that this, this adds up rather quickly. Let me just check one thing. Let me see what the nerve was. Because look. Base damage reduced from 14 to 10. And now it's 10 to 15. With normalized 15% AD scaling. I don't think these illusion changes matter because... It's like Lucian's patch notes isn't what killed Lucian. Like Lucian, what killed Lucian was was like rapid fire cannon being expensive, and it's like AD carry meta is dictated by what's OP item wise. And right now it's Navori and Kraken. Navori and Kraken are the most OP. Do you want to play that with Lucian? Sometimes you can, but it's so much worse than the other champs. You know, it's so much worse than the other champs. It's like right now, if you can buy Kraken Navori, you're very happy in the meta. Unless, of course, this patch is going to tell me that these champ the things got nerfed. Health growth. 50% AP up. They're just giving AP scalings to, to these champs. AP scalings. Which, of course, is like, it's a minimal buff because you have some AP, right? You have some AP, but... I think Lulu was... The death of Lulu was greatly, the, 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 like, exaggerated. I think Lulu is still strong. E damage tick rate increased. That's really, really good for CSing. I like that. Mini mi minion execute threshold. They reduced it because of the tick rate being up. Okay. Milio, Q, AP scaling increased to damage? Bro, this is the fucking spell I max last. I don't fucking care about having fucking big Ankara Messi, by the way. I use the spell not to damage people, I use it to fucking push people away off of people. Yeah, these Milio nerfs are really whatever, besides E. Maybe it's worth to get like 3 points E now in lane, because if you think about it, it's like you have a you are 20 shield bigger, you know? It's pretty... It's, it's like okay you know? But I don't, I, like, this This doesn't interest me. Like, this change here doesn't interest me. Nafiri got it already. Base armor down. A base attack damage down. Attack speed. Jesus. She's getting annihilated. <laughs> Thank God LEC is going to spam the shit out of this champ. I hope. I hope we get to see Nafiri every game. E AD scaling. E swipe. Bonus AD. Okay. Hullbreaker Nidalee, guys. <laughs> Q damage adjusted. Total AD. I need to pull up the... Freak. Q nerfed until level 13. Okay. Let's leave it at that. Base mana region down. Mana cost up. 
the people are done with <laughs> Lane Shaco. <laughs> yeah, fuck Lane Shaco, bro. It needs to be nerfed. Honestly, Lane Shaco is a terror, by the way. It's a terror. It's it's a very outlandish way to play the game, but when someone plays this good, I think it's fucking broken. So I'm happy that it gets nerfed. <laughs> w burnout damage. Bonus AD. Wow, W is just nerfed. 13, 17, 5. Oof. That was a pretty chunky, chunky Shivana nerf. Chunky. Base mana. Just like that, guys. Just like that, Silas gets 400 base mana. Just a dry Silas base mana increase. This is going to make his lane phase much better, you know? Uh, because you, you, you can, you, you, like, just adding resources to a champion that is relatively weak early is a very big bonus. Very, very big bonus. Target dummy, we don't care. Tristana, base armor, uh, base armor and armor growth increased, base health and magic resistance decreased. Ooh, all right. It's like Tristana got such a big boost in competitive play due to Azir and Syndra. These two champions were restructured in terms of how their strength is, right? In the past, Syndra and Azir were associated with strong early game. Now it's like they are decent early game, but they are not as oppressive as they used to be, right? So, and additionally, people figured out that on Tristana you can play fleet footwork in matchups that are difficult. In the context of this, right, these type of changes do matter, right? Because early game, you're going to be weaker. And with this, sure, you might, like, at, some, at, certain, at a certain breakpoint, right, you're going to, I don't know what it is, level 12, 13, you're going to have more armor and MR. I mean, armor specifically. This is overall a pretty fucking big nerf for Tristana. This is a pretty big nerf, I think. This armor growth, it's like a non-factor, by the way. Non-factor. It's like the armor growth, in order for you to, to reach the point of getting four, it's like, bro, it's like, what, level 13, 14? It's, it's pretty deep. Wukong, mana regeneration growth increased. Q mana cost decreased, W mana cost decreased. But these are just lane Wukong buffs. These are just lane Wukong buffs. Wait. Base armor goes up. Oh my lord. Base armor goes up. I thought they're nerfing base armor. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, that's silly. That's that's weird. That's weird. Alright. So the thing is, armor, armor is a very conspicuous conspicuous stat because armor is very useful against magic damage dealers too because they basic attack and minions are relevant right so it's like armor is still useful in lane against 80 champs you know i think tristana will still be played i thought i thought she's losing armor bro i thought she's losing no i, th I think this will still be played mid i don't think this is enough to push her out of mid i think this is still perfectly fine ultimate cooldown refund at 10 percent Okay, this makes sense, because before at 5%, in the spots where you would buy Axiom Arc, you would still get the same 25% as before, so it made no sense. This would at least put you at 30% in those cases where you buy Axiom Arc. So at least there's that, you know? It's like, this is this is a very big buff for Lane Wukong. Like, this is a very big change for Lane Wukong, because if you look at the players that play Lane Wukong, you know what they are buying? They are fucking buying tier on this champ, because this champion is giga mana hungry. And if there's ever a spot to play Wukong, it might be like... I don't know if Wukong is strong enough to be played into Aatrox. That, that's what I'm like thinking. He could be played maybe into Aatrox. But we shall see. Duskblade. 10 seconds to 30 seconds. Missing health damage. I still think Duskblade is going to be strong. This might sound extreme, right? This might sound extreme. But I think in a lot of the cases... A lot of the cases where you're playing Duskblade, once is enough. You get me? Once is enough. In most fights where you pl fight playing with Duskblade, once is enough. There's gonna be some niche cases where second time would have been the decider, definitely. But in a lot of cases, once is enough. It was the same with the ghost change, right? I still think Duskblade will be very played. But this is a deserved nerf because obviously this champion, this item was very overtuned. But I think that this still will be very, very playable because in a lot of fights, once is enough. Probably current cooldown is a bit too long. Uh, 10 to 5, 
bonus damage 55 milli okay, bonus ad scaling i don't know i think it's very rare where i would rather buy proler's claw over axiomark and i'll show you why all right i'll show you why it's like in a lot of cases the proler's club buff just look at axiomark look at the base stats the base stats are ridiculous if you look at the cost analysis, right? The cost analysis, 100% gold efficient, blah, 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 lethality is broken, all that good stuff, okay? 25 ability haste, 18 lethality, 55 AD. And if you just, if you look at prowlers, you just lose 10 ability haste. You just straight up lose, you just straight up lose 10 ability haste. You just lose 10 ability haste. So it feels pretty bad to buy this item in a lot of cases especially because you have to think about what slot Prowler's Claw is going to take, right? How much lethality do you get on dash? No, that's... It's like it gives you damage. It gives you the slow and the damage. There might be cases where you have champions that dash enough to you abuse the fact that the 5 second cooldown is going to happen, but I, it's just... I, I In my mind right now, it's like... I could think maybe, let's say, Kha'Zix. Kha'Zix could use this right because it works with stealth too right stealth you know could be could be a form right five second cooldown is a very very big deal though so maybe it's worth the ability haste you know like a five second cooldown down the more and more i like repeated in my brain five second cooldown down is is pretty fucking big and the, the, the damage scaling is up serpent's fang i don't like that this item gives a penalty for range i don't think it should be like that i don't think it should have a penalty for range i don't think it should matter it's not like grievous wounds has a penalty for range it's not like shadow flame has a penalty for range why does serpent's fang have a penalty for range i don't think it should just the fact that it has penalty for range means that it will never be by bought on range unless you're jace because you can turn into hammer as your q is flying right lethality umbro glaive three lethality okay that's that's fairly neat all right these are just arena changes. It is what it is. Okay. Ezreal's untouched. Ezreal's untouched. What else is untouched? Poppy. I don't know. Po like tanks. I don't. I don't get how tanks are dodging nerfs. By the way. That's that's my take. Like, what? Why are tanks? Why are tanks? Why, why why are tanks? Oh, like not getting nerfed. By tanks, I mean Poppy. I think Ezreal needs some tuning here. I, 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 maybe Ezreal deserves nerf here. Because the thing is. Kaiser getting nerfed are pretty big as your buffs here, you know? That's that's the thing, you know? I'm, I'm, I, like, I think Poppy... I'm happy Camille is back. I'm very happy that Camille is back. I think that's really positive. I think Poppy is a little bit too strong. I think Poppy is a bit OP. I'm, I'm surprised Poppy... Poppy is not touched. I'm happy Rexa is getting nerfed. I think that's such a solo queue terror champ. I don't think it's relevant too much to competitive. Honestly, a lot of the lethality, lethality champs are pretty fucking strong. A lot of the lethality champs are pretty fucking strong, I feel like. Like Rakan, Rail as well, like these these champs are not being touched. It's, it's strange to me, but at least, at least, right, this is a patch where there's no competitive. There's no competitive on this patch, so so they are chilling. Unless this is like the Asian, game pass, the Asian Games passive, you know? Like, um, I, I don't know if it's the, it's the Asian Games uh, patch. Really not sure. Anyhow, that was that was my my patch rundown. Like keep in mind, LEC is on uh, on a different patch.